<laughs> Hello everybody out there in furry land or regular land, depending on if you're furry or not. Welcome to another episode of Canid Confabulation. I'm your host, Beretta Darkwolf. And I'm Kilroy McKenna. Good job. All right, Kilroy McKenna. Is that last I know, because you were fucking up real bad with your speech last week, so... And you fucked up the opening. I know I did fuck up the opening, but they will never know that because it's not going to be put on but the air. I just told them. But, all right, well, I'm sure you can forgive me. I'm telling you, blue yeah. reels, if we ever, like, get DVDs or anything. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. I would I enjoy that. But, uh, how, how was your week, buddy? Like, it's been a... A uh, very busy week. Um, me too. Me like, too. I worked earlier in the week, and then later in the week doing a lot of running around, because uh, my boyfriend's birthday and everything, mm-hmm, so I'm just... Mm-hmm. Very exhausted. I'm glad to just sit and kind Finally of Finally get a good, good... ...couple of beers, even though I had plenty of alcohol last night. But, you know, I mean, yeah, now I, I can sit. It's not... Just we're like we're going to relax and talk about a few uh, articles for a yeah. good hour and a half, you know? I think yeah. that's... How about, the, uh, how about you, though? How was your week? I was, it was all right. I had to actually... I was in charge for the last couple of days. A few guys messed some stuff up at work. So it was like... It was mildly stressful, and now I get to go in on Monday and hear, you know, my big boss get all mad about stuff that happened on Thursday when he wasn't there right so you know that's gonna be fun but you know aside from all that I mean it went okay I didn't get much sleep this whole week it was like a Red Bull day every single day this whole week you know (laughs) it was I mean I was was getting like four or five hours of sleep that's kind of how it was for me except I uh, hate that you you, you didn't like I I, I drink coffee I'm a coffee drinker Red Bull you do the Red Bull I do the coffee coffee. Red Bull keeps you wide awake I think it was uh, Thursday. I had like, uh, I did this like two weeks in a row now where I had like two to three, maybe even four pots of coffee in one day. Like, <laughs> that is a little. It's just, the, the, see, the thing about coffee though is it's not going to kill you. I think if you drink like three or four or five Red Bulls, that might not be healthy for you. I mean, it really depends on the caffeine intake. I just, and from what I hear, of time. yeah, I just that's think, really what it is. Well, I heard that coffee's pretty safe when it comes to you. It's really hard to OD on coffee, but I know that like energy drinks can be dangerous. Like that Futurama if episode, yes, or time stops. The one hundred cup of coffee. Good. I love that. That was hilarious. But uh, we're gonna move on. I'm, 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 we're at the beginning of the show. Let's just let's just cheers and episode have a drink. Three. Episode three. Here we go. Playing Ooh. Guinness. Hmm. Delicious. It's a bit of a sad day today. Um, pay a little homage to my. Is it homage or homage? Homage, homage, homage. 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 Oh. Pay a little homage to my um, cat I grew up with at my mom's house. Uh, he recently passed away today, so um, mom had to put him down. He had a. Um, what was, was it like? What did I say? Cardiac failure, heart failure, pulmonary. So, something he, he like he had fluid around his heart, so he was having trouble breathing, and the surgery would, like, it might fix him, and then it might re- be re- a reoccurring thing. So she didn't want to keep him alive, you know, in misery. Was, yeah, exactly. Like the, the sad state. It's like. I mean, we we were. He was that. He was just. He, he wasn't like my best friend. He's not like a cat that he like. He didn't like me that much. Let's just put it that way. But we're gonna show I mean, him some well, respect. We're gonna show him some respect, dirty, though. Guilty wolf. Hey, I mean, shut up. Hey, shut oh, up. Fine, I shut up. No, we're going I'm sorry. to. I'm yeah, sorry. you're yeah, in mourning. I'm, I'm in mourning right now. Well, my lovely cat Shadow, uh, who I grew up with at my mom's, passed away, and we're going to pay homage with a shot. So this is to Shadow, <laughs> the black cat. It's pretty good, actually. Here, a little sweet. I'm on the sweet side. He will be missed, That's and um, he will be missed. But uh, aside from all the sad news, that's really all, the only bad thing that happened to me today, and or all week really. Nothing, nothing, nothing too eventful. Just a pretty, a pretty solid, mildly stressful week, I guess. Yeah. That's oh, for me. Uh, uh, finally got my hair trimmed. Mm. That hasn't happened. Uh, I think it's been a year and nine months now. That's a long time. For me, the last time I got a haircut was maybe in April. No, it was March. Yeah, no, March. like, uh, what, well, what it was is, like, I literally buzzed my head when I got this job, and uh, then I, I haven't know. cut my hair, trimmed nothing, which is probably, I probably should do that a bit more. If your hair was but, straightened, man, it'd be long as hell. Yeah, no, it's, that'd be crazy. Yeah, it gets pretty long. I don't know. It's but, not a big deal. But, all right, enough talk about us. I'm sure they don't really care at all, eh? 
We just lost half our viewers. I know. They're like, oh, these guys are just talking about themselves. Right. How boring is that? I want to know about your day. Get to the uh, I don't know. funny. Let's talk There's about... No funny. Yeah. <laughs> There's no funny here. <laughs> Why are you watching? Yeah, I know. We say that every day. But I, I really wanted to bring this up. It's not really an article, but the uh, iOS 7 launch. Apparently there was a troll that somebody did where they uh, put out a spoof ad campaign for Apple saying that uh, there are features that they're implementing which m will make your phone waterproof. <laughs> and he dropped it in the water. I think I have the actual ad here, so I think I'll put it up on the screen, but they have a little message that says additional protection. With the new features and groundbreaking innovation of iOS 7, your phone is able to instantly, instantly detect sudden changes in thermo distribution with... <laughs> I love the wording here. I know. Well, that I, <laughs> maybe that sensitive screen and home button. <laughs> Update to iOS 7 and become waterproof. Yeah, they, no, I think because of the the words chosen, like people saw that and they're like, "Well, they use big words. They can't be lying." It's you a know? very oh, professional like, ad. Yeah, no, it looks good, and that's the thing. Like, it's it's done pretty best, well. I the, think I, the best part was the, tum like the, the Tumblr comments or the uh, the Twitter comments about. You know, people messing up their phones because they drive. I can't tell if they were trolling back or if they were serious, but some of these no, posts I'm, made me believe that they were serious. A lot serious. of people probably were like, oh, let me try this. Like, update it and oh, threw it in my toilet or something. What I don't understand <laughs> is even if you had that option, I would say, oh, that's good, but I wouldn't actively try it because yeah, that's like right? saying you have. Because then what if it doesn't? Like, they're saying, oh, this car can be, or your, your phone could be run over with a car. You know, and a you, bunch of people run out and do it. And then, like, yeah, but I mean, it's why would you want to risk it anyway? Even if you have that feature, it just seems kind of. I wouldn't try it. Right. I would. I would want to be the one to get trolled <laughs> and throw yeah. five hundred dollars. I, just, I, I think that's great. Equipment though. Like, away. So many people just got fucked on know. this. I, it is funny, but it's just that was a good troll. Honestly, that was that was pretty good. Um, but our first article, I. I just, it's uh, something I thought was cool. It's not really super in-depth and newsy, but it's just uh, apparently um, 500 new vintage cars, new in quotes, um, are to be sold at a Nebraska au auction. What had happened was there was a guy who owned a car dealership, and uh, he when he had a car he didn't sell, or like there was a vehicle that like was new on the lot that also didn't sell, he put it in storage instead of giving it away to another dealer or something. Like He basically kept a stockpile of cars in like I think he said a barn or something but all these cars now are being sold at auction there are cars from the 60s and 50s era that were just sitting there brand new less than 20 miles on them and I thought that was pretty awesome yeah no that, that's really neat you know I mean they're not because they were just kind of left in storage they're not in the best condition but pretty damn good yeah, either way like, they haven't been driven I mean the know. mechanical components inside there are virtually brand new I mean, you know, depending on, on how much rust is there. Yeah. But, I mean, from the picture there, it doesn't look like a whole lot of rust when a, damage. When a car, I mean, it, it's a collector's dream. Somebody who wants to restore something, it's pretty much almost already done. You just need, yeah. it needs a little touch-up. Like, that's it. I mean, I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That was something that caught my eye, and I was like, I had to I had to bring that up because it was cool. Yeah, and, well, and that, that, like, the other cool thing is that, like, all everything on the inside, because they're pretty much brand new... Like, oh, you don't have to do any, yeah, you don't need to do any of the upholstery, you don't need to do anything, like, right. bam, it's, all it's there done, already. it's there, and it's authentic, like, that's the big part, especially I know you're like, not a car guy, but I know, I know you, it's a cool, uh, cool little, little yeah. article that, I mean, it's, it's really weird when someone has something that they've been collecting for such a long time that just reappears, and it's like a like a little time capsule, you know. Right. I mean, that's one of the reasons I keep my truck around is because like you don't see a lot of that model on the road anymore, like the older ones. And eventually, I want to restore it. So I'm gonna be that guy 40 years from now driving down the street with a truck from 1980. You know what I mean? Like I think that's cool. Assuming 40 years from now you have gas to to run it. Oh, there. Yeah, I think we'll still be on uh, yeah, petroleum. I don't think they're gonna switch over to anything else anytime soon. Yeah. I mean, the option will be out there, but it'll be a really long haul before they finally transition that. In my opinion, at least. I mean, that's all debatable. But here's a great article. You're going to love this oh one. My God. This was hilarious. This was actually, I took this from my local news. So it's something that, I, this is actually a local event. Yeah. <laughs> that had happened that I had seen, and I said, this is too good. This has to go in the show. Right. But apparently, a Wisconsin squirrel hunter accidentally shot to death a man thinking he was another squirrel. That is serious, seriously. In the article in the town of Halsey, Wisconsin, 
Authorities say a squirrel hunter was accidentally shot to death near Wausau when another hunter mistook him for a squirrel last weekend. Seriously. <laughs> how, how do you do I, that? Like, I don't even know. Squirrels are like that big. <laughs> you know, with, 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 like, with the tail, they're like itty bitty even. Like, how the fuck? I don't understand that. The victim, <laughs> the victim was 29-year-old Zhu, X-O-U, Zhu, Zhu. Zhu, Zhao, maybe? Zhu I don't know. I'm Zhu really Zhang. bad with names. I just, it's probably a Hmong because a lot of those Hmong guys at work, they actually go squirrel hunting, so it would make sense. But uh, apparently he was the victim, and he was shot uh, by his friend, actually. A, it's th- some friend. a 32-year-old man from Wausau. Um, they don't actually tell Does him. Does the guy name. live? Like, is he alive? No. No, so he's dead. Like, dude was shot yeah, and killed? That's what they're making it oh sound like. Actually, wait a minute. I don't think they actually state whether or not he died or not, but I, I was under the assumption that he did. Yeah, no, he's dead because they have autopsy. Oh, autopsy. <laughs> he's dead. That's why I wow. thought he was dead. He dead. They didn't wow. clarify until that's, the that's very really end. really funny. No, the man shot his friend. It reminds me of a, a, a few years ago. Maybe this was even more than just a few years ago. Same, almost the same thing happened with deer hunters. I'm just curious how you, how you, if you're with friends with this guy and he... It sounds like there was something that's underlying under this whole... There could be. Who I knows? mean, if you think about think it, like, the, according to the report, the sheriff says Chang had two dead squirrels next to him on a stump, and his friend thought he saw movement and fired. So literally, like, how do you, like, I... What I want to know is if alcohol is involved. Like, were these guys out hunting and drinking, and... It's possible, And but he was I just, just so slosh. He was like, ah, oh, something moving, and... and, and like, I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> In my opinion, that's a little ridiculous. I don't know how you mistake your friend for a squirrel. Like, yeah. to me, that's that's humorous. It's just like, that sucks. But it seems like, it just seems a little too what ridiculous if, to be real. What if the guy was a furry <laughs> and hunting in a squirrel fursuit? That would make this article even probably better. This thing would have went national then. I, <laughs> a bunch of drunk furries were out hunting in the woods. <laughs> One of them is dead. Squirrel, squirrel hunting squirrels. I'm a what squirrel are the and I like that. Yeah. Uh, we're not even going to go there, Pond. I'd rather not. Uh, but uh, I don't know if you've heard of this, but we're going to move on again. We're going to move on to something actually really disturbing that has made its rise it's appearing in the united states now and that's a scary yeah. thing it's it's uh, a new drug called crocodile crocodile is it crocodile I, mean, I don't know i don't know how you pronounce it exactly crocodile crocodile maybe it is crocodile, crocodile. It might actually be crocodile i don't, I don't know, know how you say it but it's a new russian drug that is like it's it's similar to heroin it's like a very very cheap form of heroin and users inject it into their body but the problem is the chemical composition of what it's made out of actually causes your flesh to start to deteriorate. So it's literally the flesh-eating drug because when it's, the, just, it's really addictive and it, it gives the users a heroin high, which it also doesn't last as long. I think they said like it lasts like 90 minutes or something. So it's not even it's not even a lengthy high. It's just a good hour and a half. It's like when did weed stop becoming entertaining? You know what I mean? Like it just seems like people are trying more and more newer things to get that buzz you know like you're little, feeding into the thing like it's a little extreme i don't know about uh, i'm not it's saying it's gateway drugs that's yeah, not what i'm saying i'm not okay. i'm not, okay. not not referencing that. i hope i hope not but yeah no i, I don't mean, understand like, it especially like you you got to hear about other people who use this drug you know like how well, I mean, I wonder why people do meth. You know, I, I never understood that either. Yeah. But I mean, maybe some people really like that high and they like the fact that it's cheap, you know? I mean, that, maybe, I mean, that makes I guess. sense to me. I just, when you hear something rots your flesh, <laughs> right? That to me, that's seem... like, uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Thanks. I'll, uh, I got some beard and the, weed. The, I'm good with that. The drug is service. No more. The drug is service in Arizona. So it's coming started in Arizona. I'm not sure why Arizona of all places, but the drug officially known as desromorphine is a concoction made by cooking codeine with other ingredients including iodine. It can ca- it can also include noxious additi- additives like paint thinner, gasoline, lighter fluid, and hydrochloric acid. So it's not really a pleasant drug. To lighter fluid and gas. Like I this mean, also sounds it. combustible. Like, well, it's eating the guy's flesh, so it's very, very acidic, obviously. Just, uh, 
I hope you're not smoking a cigarette while doing this. So is your arm yeah, just don't, bursting don't, flames? Don't do that. Like, don't do that. <laughs> I just, I don't understand people sometimes. <laughs> like, why would you want? You must be really itching for a high at that point. I just think if you really want heroin really bad and you got to You'd rather, like they say the life expectancy of people who do these drugs regularly is like two years. And you know what I mean? Like why would you want to like do something that's Better be the obvious, best yeah. high on the fucking world. Like it causes like. gangrene and stuff because people are getting infections and it's just like it's, it's, it's just, it's got a long duration, like it stays in your body too. It doesn't even like really leave. They said it has like a long residual like lasting effect. Like it just kind of, it just seems people are having like, I think issues with their brain uh, because of it any intervenous drug like that though i think it's just that's because you're getting an, you're getting an, you're getting a, a super dose of it instantly to get you high fast yeah you know what i mean is. like your it doesn't have any filter at all in your body and that's why the organs are there is to filter the toxins out you know I, I just still it's, it's like just, it's it's why? weird why? and there's pictures Ugh. If you look this drug up, be I'm careful. Be careful to be up. careful the source you go to because there are pictures of this and they are. It is extremely gross. I'm telling you that right now. And if you if you are sensitive to if you are queasy, I'm gonna pull it up right now. No, I'm no no no. I won't. No, not today. No, I absolutely not. No, I, I I can't even look at them honestly. Really? It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's gross. It's disgusting. I'm I'm curious, so I want to look it up. Flesh eating like, stuff like that, like like just just big gaping sores and shit like that, like that's disgusting to me. I can watch surgery, but like stuff that's like like it's like it's people. It's known as like the zombie drug because it's turning people into like these fucking rotting actual corpses like, oh, that are man, yeah, it's, cool, disgu- it's, disgu- it's disgusting it's a it's a it's a just one of those drugs that's like you should never try like there's yeah. a handful of drugs you should never try and this is high it's on definitely one list. of them like one, one of maybe them even number one <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just, why why i don't understand it because people want an easy fast cheap high and I guess it goes, maybe that's natural selection at work still. You know, I don't know. Fuck it. Like, just do whippets. That's cheap and easy. Yeah, that can stop your heart instantly, though. That's another one of those things. What? I, okay, but still, like, stop your heart instantly or rot to death. Well, like, uh, what, what would be, it's like Russian roulette. You know, you got basically crocodile, crocodile, or however you say it. Well, ex- your life, you have, it's maybe two years, right? You won't die instantly, but it, you will maybe, die. Maybe two. You you could possibly die if you make something wrong or uh, that's something. That's true. Else. Like, Absolutely true too. You know, but I, I mean, mean chances, I think in my honestly, the chances are probably just as high. In my opinion, I think when you're probably scary. killing just as much brain cells. Well, <laughs> I just kids don't do drugs. <laughs> Don't pump gasoline into your veins. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That is, that should be, that should be a billboard advertisement for above the right. influence right there. Like, they kids, just have, like... Don't a... pump gasoline into your veins. What are you doing, crazy kids? Please, stop it. I just, I don't know. I don't understand people. I really don't. I really don't know why certain people do they certain things really that are really happen. stupid. Like, that's just dumb to me you know what i mean like yeah i do your research first i mean maybe, there's maybe that's what should be like the subtitle for our show canon confabulation no really we just talk about stupid people <laughs> no really we just talk about stupid people. no i'm serious though <laughs> like do, do your research people like if you're gonna if you want to try a drug or do a drug there's a website called gearwood and it has all the information you need to know about like they have they have uh trip reports and like the legality of it and the dosage, dosage and it's just like I think that's, it, that's, I think that's the cool part it like, tells you everything you need to know if you are really seriously interested in trying a drug so you know how much won't kill you or <laughs> if it will do will. damage to you at some point in time because there are some things that you know maybe you should do you should research first you know what I mean yeah. like well that's the thing like if you're going to do something, be informed about it. Just common sense. You know, uh, you would if, think. If I you, would think if that you, it would just be common sense. Like, yeah, at this point, like if you know of the dangers, like with crocodile, if you know of all the dangers and you know your skin's gonna start falling off, like if you know that and you still want to try it, go ahead. Like yeah, that's Darwinism like, yes, you at work. You wanna, you wanna do it? <laughs> you know, fuck it. At that point, I don't even give a shit like just go in the corner and stay away from everyone else at that point yeah your, <laughs> your arms falling off I, I don't have anything to do with you like 
start up like uh, leper colonies again, but it's really just a bunch of drug yeah, addicts yeah, who yeah. want to do the worst <laughs> fucking drugs in the world. Just put them on an island. Like. Um, don't we already have like little colonies of that, and they're called like Juggalo Amsterdam? <laughs> <laughs> there already are there already are colonies of people that you know do drugs. Okay, I mean, really. separate from society, like away they, from. They everyone are. Else. They have the gathering. <laughs> Fun. You're not. You're not. You're not help. You're you're, you're actually yeah. helping me right here. I guess. I just, uh, Sorry for so all the juggle. I hope we don't have any juggalo viewers. We don't, no, we don't anymore. And now they want to kill us. <laughs> oh, shit. Now they want to kill us. Honestly, though, maybe not. Like, a lot of the Juggalos I know are You'd pretty hope. chill. They don't even give a you fuck. You would really hope. I don't know. Maybe I, I just know some chill people. Uh, or they're just too know. high to care. Uh, like, fuck it, man. Whatever. I make fun of myself. <laughs> they're too high to care. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't care. I'm fucked up. You're too crocodile. I hope not. We just... I, someone should go undercover and just introduce crocodile to him. <laughs> Hey guys, Tom Green infiltrated him before. Let's send him in there again. They knew who he was, though. I thought, didn't they? Maybe I don't find know. I just either way. I, kids, I really the the, like the moral of this story is don't grow up to be a juggler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can do crocodiles. Just don't, don't be a don't, juggler. Don't, don't no, be a no, juggler. Don't that's that's the moral. What are we talking about again? I don't <laughs> even know. Next article. Next article is <laughs> a. Uh, I like this one actually. This is a. Um, Goodwill drops charges against a teen who gave customers discounts. He was like the Goodwill Santa Claus, you know? Yeah. He was he was lowering prices for people that couldn't afford certain things. And Goodwill's prices are already low enough, you know? Mm-hmm. And basically, he racked up, I think, $4,000 in, like, fees, or, like, four thousand. The good, Goodwill lost $4,000. Yeah, like, I, like, loss. Because a shrink of $4,000. He was giving people discounts because they couldn't afford it. Maybe, maybe at, at the counter, someone came up and realized, I don't have the money for that, and the guy said, listen, I can give you this discount. You know, I think that's what it probably came down to, because I don't think he was just cutting prices for everyone. I think people that legitimately couldn't afford something had to put stuff back. If they're already shopping at Goodwill, you know, and they can't afford something, that just sucks in general. Yeah. So he was trying to be a good Samaritan, you know what I mean? I know. At, at the same time, though, like, I understand his viewpoint. Like, it, it sucks. You know, I know it does. Um... But like you work for a company, and they they also need to make, make something money. Up. And, and yeah, I know they gotta um, pay their employees. They gotta pay the you know, staff to yeah. You know, so like I'm glad they're dropping the charges though. You yeah, know? like that. Well, that's I think cool. I think what happened was they he admitted his his, his he was at fault and he agreed yeah. to pay the money back. But I just think it sucks that like the kid tried. I guess maybe. I guess the way it went about it was that he was arrested over it. It was kind of a okay. little... Well, I mean, that that's a lot of money. I know, but it was know. a little... You know, if they would have just talked to him first, you know? Yeah. Not had, like, top. police involvement where the news got involved and stuff. Mm-hmm. It would have been different. I think the fact that they made him in, made him out to be a criminal when he was really just trying to help people. It's not like he stole any of the money. I just... You know, it just... That's just... Trying to do good. He probably didn't realize what he was doing. Maybe he wasn't, like thinking about the company itself, you know? Yeah. Well, that, that, and that's the thing. He wasn't thinking about the consequences because, and it's possible, that he was just really trying to do something good and just wasn't thinking ahead or really thinking about what exactly he was doing. I can still respect, the I can still respect him. For yeah, no. Like, I don't, I I don't think, think he did think anything wrong, really. I really don't. I just think that you know, I'm, I'm, uh, he he took he took blame and he's going to pay it back yeah. from what they said. It's just and that like that's the important thing. It, I just don't like the way the company handled it. I guess that's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, the fact that he's he's said you know pretty much upfront. I didn't read the entire article, but if he's gonna pay back the money, that's okay. I mean, yes, it's shitty for him and everything, um, but I mean, do you really? That's that's. Price you kind of you know, know, I guess you should. I guess you know. when you you should know what you're doing. If you're going to take on something like that and just give people discounts, you should know yeah. if it's going to affect you negatively in the end. At, at the same time, though, like I think it would be interesting to find out like how many of these people were like repeat customers and consistently, you know, oh I'm short and we're maybe yeah maybe if they were taking of advantage of his generosity, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then like, that would be unfortunate, you know, just because it tacked on more and more. I know because he was helping, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I feel bad for the kid because he tried. You know, I think most people who read this article would feel bad for him, but at the same time, you know, he did technically do something that wasn't really right. Yeah. What I, what I hope though is that he this doesn't 
make him jaded or doesn't turn him away yeah. from trying to be charitable. Yeah, you I know. know. Yeah, exactly. If I anything, mean, I hope this makes him even stronger going like, really guys? Fuck you. Like, I'm yeah. going to continue doing shit like this. You Absolutely. Know? I just, it just sucks. It just sucks, I guess, for everyone. It just, uh, I don't know. The world, the world's a really complicated place, you know? So I guess yeah. when you try to do something right, sometimes it's wrong. If that makes any sense? Yeah. No, I think that's but, uh, fair. The next article... Which I think you really enjoyed is the. Uh, I just thought it was funny, just from the title. The NSA staff is using spy tools on spouses. So, like spouses, ex-lovers, etc., etc., right. etc. Et but Go uh, figure. apparently, people who work for the NSA that were given permission that could use spy equipment, like wiretapping and reading emails and checking in on, you know, making sure you're not a terrorist. Right. Um, they were using it basically to, you know, look up what what is my wife doing? You know, is that is she fucking See, another guy? Like I yeah, I, I think that's hilarious. I think I, it's amusing. Like it, it's kind of funny. Like really, this is what you do. But here here are the problems with that. One, like they're essentially getting paid to do this. Yeah. And I mean, I could be wrong, but isn't that like taxpayer money that's going for kind of, a lot of this? But honestly, like, honestly, you know, so that not, right there, that it's kind not of, though like they spent all day doing this. You know it's I mean? possible, though. That's <laughs> possible. If they are really interested in making sure that their spouse isn't cheating on them, they could spend a day to on it. To be honest, though, if, if I suspected my spouse of cheating on me and I worked for the NSA, I probably would look into it, too. <laughs> I guess, but like that that's kind of like an abuse of power. You know, yeah. and two, but when because they're doing power, that, when given power, okay, I know, I know exactly, and th- and this is why I don't like the NSA. I think that everything like that just needs to stop. You know, here's the thing: they're doing this to their own fucking spouses. Who's to say they aren't going to do that to the average person out there? That is you know? true, and, and that's what I don't like. I like just, that to me is the big thing I don't like about this. I just think it's really funny because no, I, it, it is. <laughs> I'm not trying to say it's not funny, but at the same time, it bothers me, you know. I think an, apparently an <laughs> investigation found the man abused NSA, a man who worked there, abused NSA databases from 1998 to 2003 to snoop on nine phone numbers of foreign women and twice collected communications of an American, according to the general's report. So a guy was, like, checking in on um, his wife or whatever and who she was talking to. So, I don't know. Now, is this just, I just one person that was, was caught? just one person that was caught. They've got a lot more... Uh, yeah, there's probably more. Than oh, yeah, there are a lot. No, they actually dubbed the... Uh, the practices known to the intelligence were shorthand as lovin' it. Lovin', love int. Love int. Love int, in quotes. So that's like they actually... Love interest? Or? Love interest. So apparently they have a, a code name for co- work people See, who, well, that's there the thing. who do that. That's so the it happens thing. a lot. Exactly. It happens a lot. If they have their own fucking slang for this shit and everything, and again, it goes back to they're doing this on the taxpayers' time. To me, I really, I personally don't care. I just, I mean, like, it doesn't really bother me in any way. I honestly think it's funny. It's funny to me <laughs> that they're actually spying on they're their... They're that fucking insecure that they have to do that. Well, some people have a reason. You know what I mean? Like, if, if someone... Like, there are people that, yes, are insecure, but some people do have a reason. I mean, if you're suspicious... Confront them about there it. Might, yeah, but they lie. You know what I mean? That person is not going to be honest with you if they couldn't be honest with you from the beginning. That's how it works, though. That's the truth. At man. least do something a little less shady. Hire uh, like a you've PI. Got, you're given the biggest database and I know, everything, I know, and I you're guess. like, what's easier? I'm going to go hire somebody else to do that outside of work, or I'm just going to press some buttons and check some shit. You know what I mean? Like, I guess. To me, I don't know. I, I don't I don't really feel bad about this. I, <laughs> I, I kind of can understand where they're coming from. Yes, they abuse power. Yes. But did it really hurt anyone in the process? No. That, that's how I feel. It didn't, it didn't do Well, okay, here's the thing. If they want to base their defense on why they should stay around, that is time that they could be using to hunt down the terrorists, you know? Yeah, the... <laughs> You gotta say it right though. You gotta say Tur- terrorists. Terrorists. Sorry, the terrorists. Because that's their like, terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> I I just like I said, no. it's just it's just it's just funny to me that like they used it for 
not even like anything important. This is their own little exactly. But I mean, everybody at, at their workplace does dumb shit like that. So I guess it, it makes no difference what you know what service you work. I'm sure the Secret Service for like the president or whatever is. They're like I don't know. Do if they have like 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 they do truth and dare. Like all right, who's gonna like sneak in and like. <laughs> <laughs> so like the bedroom or whatever it's just like take funny pictures or teabag the president or something Somebody selfie selfie <laughs> yeah selfie <laughs> with obama as he's sleeping or some <laughs> shit that'd be hilarious <laughs> i don't even know that would be pretty Some funny the image of a secret service agent <laughs> tumblr <laughs> that's a quick way to lose it your I'm job i'm sure that, that'd be my favorite secret service agent of all time <laughs> <laughs> That'd make my day. I hope it appears someday. Oh, one of these days it will. <laughs> Maybe we have Secret Service members watching this. I love that like, That's a great idea! I love that term, no selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever invented that made it, I like, guess. Just selfies. Oh, hashtag God. selfies. Oh, God, not the hashtag. Mm. I like that Facebook added it to their options that you can do. Uh, like, I guess it's kind of neat, because now, you know, if oh, you're looking neat. for particular things, you can just... Click the hashtag and there's all that shit right there. But like right after it happened, everyone was just like hashtags on everything, thousands of them, you know. I just like, like there'd I be a short hash- post, and then it got to the point where there's more hashtags than there are fucking posts. I just I like, think hashtags are kind of cool though because you can see who else is talking about the same thing that you're talking about and how yeah. the subject. No, and that, that's why I, I think it's pretty neat, but. I just it's, I don't spend that just, much time on Facebook. So, so sometimes social networks get a little ridiculous. So I can understand why somebody doesn't like the aspects of certain things because there's a lot of drama. Oh yeah. And a lot of whining and a lot of dumb stuff that gets you know. But it really it is a good communicative communicative tool for most people. You know what I mean? I I like Facebook. I'm on there all the time. So I'm pretty much a teenage girl oh, yeah. when it comes to right. Facebook, <laughs> taking selfies and, you know, taking pictures of my cat and posting them online. My MySpace angles. MySpace angles all the time. <laughs> Duck face. You know what was one of my favorite things about, like, all the MySpace stuff? The people who would find, like, terrible selfies. Yeah, like, you, you know, like, one of the biggest ones was, was that one chick taking a picture of herself. And then, like, you look in the toilet and there's this big-ass shit just chilling in the toilet. Like... Just funny stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought that was the funniest thing. Because, like, it's a picture of this chick, and she's trying to be all sexy and everything, but then there's this big-ass shit in the toilet. Or the guy, <laughs> the muscly guy, who takes a picture of himself flexing, and there's a big dildo in the background <laughs> or something. Like, I know, I've seen a lot of that. Like, Some of those are so no, good. <laughs> I just can't get People, like, get so used to their surroundings, they don't really... Right? Yeah, I don't know. That's funny to me. Did that almost happened to you the other day. What but do you in mean? In real life? What do you mean? What you, do you, had, you had something sitting out that you didn't want people to see. What are you talking about? And you, oh, I have to go put that away. That was another story another for another story day. Entirely, yeah. That is uh, something completely unrelated. <laughs> that wasn't had nothing to do with photographs. <laughs> exactly. I didn't say photographs. I said in real life. I brought a friend home, and I had something I had to clean up real fast before you know. Oops. We've all been there, right? Never? I I, oh, I shut think up. I really... Okay. All right, fine. Moving I on. I keep things in certain places. I, I keep other things in other places. I use them, and then I put them back. We're going to move on now. <laughs> All right? I don't want to go in depth about this. I don't think the viewers care. <laughs> so we're going to move they on. They might. No, they probably... Ask in the crotch bar. I'll tell you all I about won't tell it. You, I won't tell you. You better not. Moving on, okay. Pond. <laughs> Moving on. Are we last, moving on? Yeah, we're moving on to the last article on our little agenda. The for the last day. article of the day. A uh, Florida family claims cover-up of killing by cop. Apparently, a Florida man was being pulled over, and he was being questioned by police officers outside of his vehicle, and somehow the police car ended up on top of him, killing him. And there was a dashboard cam of it, and... It hasn't been released yet, and apparently the suspicious nature of it was pretty much swept under the rug mm-hmm. by not only the police department, but the coroners in Florida. Like, I just... How does a cop car just suddenly... <laughs> like, exactly. On top of someone. That's it's just, automatic. You're in a park. <laughs> it's not like it can slip out of gear. <laughs> I, you know, that's... Uh, <laughs> I don't... 
Yeah, no, that 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 is very fishy. I guess what they're saying is you in know. her investigative report, Herman found no evidence that the police car, Herman being um, the investigator right now, um, that the police car pursuing Brown struck him, and Brown was the guy. Um, but rather, Brown slipped and fell under the patrol car, and it somehow magically came to rest upon him. Yeah, how, how does weird. that even happen? Like, I can understand slipping and falling. I slip and fall all the time, especially in winter when it's icy. But this is not. Winter. But I mean, even if he did fall, if he, if he fell, icy. you think the cop would help him up? The cop car shouldn't have ended on top of him. Yeah, I'd like to know more details behind. It. I mean, police are equipped with mics, so you can hear what's going on. There has to be some evidence on this thing that needs to be released on like the dashboard cam that would pretty much reveal a lot of evidence but it seems like everyone's trying to dust it in the rug and now it's gained news attention so obviously something's going to come out of this and actually the guy who was doing the coroner report I want his name is Dr. Shipping Bao he actually worked on Trayvon Martin's case so apparently there's a lot more corruption in this than in this area at least than mm -hmm. like has been known but apparently he conducted the op autopsy and uh, he told Crystal Brown, the, the, the wife, and Crump that he concluded that the killing was a traumatic homicide. So he literally assumed that it was a homicide from the get-go, right? Yeah. And, um... I mean, like, really Bob, particular manslaughter. The guy, like. the guy who did the, the, the coroner investigation was overruled by his higher-up saying that it wasn't. And then because he, he disagreed with him, he was terminated from his position. That's ridiculous. I know, right? Like, so it seems like he was pressured in either by the police department or somebody to sweep this one under the rug. No one should know about this. And he didn't want to. Whether it was an accident or not, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't be swept under the rug. It, you know, yeah. somebody, we people need to know the truth. You know what I mean? Whether it's the family or just, you know, it just... Well, especially for the family because they need closure. Like, one of their family members just died under very suspicious, you know, circumstances. This needs to be pursued to the fullest extent. And now they're trying to just kind of say, oh, no, 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 no. It didn't happen that way. This is what happened. You know, on the chorus, and they're going, no, actually, you know, the evidence suggests this. So maybe you, they, everyone should kind of take a step back and look at this instead of just trying to sweep it under the I rug. Just, I think what's funny, though, is the, uh, the police video, actually, they watched it, but it's not released yet. It shows the rookie officer, so he's a, he's a newbie. Um, pursuing Brown for an alleged seatbelt violation, like the most randomest things of all, like like those at a fifteen dollar fine in Wisconsin. And Brown exits the car, runs while Harris in his patrol car chases him down, past other police cars through a backyard into a garden. Brown appears to trip, turn around with his hand up, disappearing under the car. So it's like he magically fell, and then the car somehow ended up on top of him. It just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the this whole scenario just is the most random thing that it's like how is this an accident you know the cop car wouldn't just it just is weird it's weird yeah. and the fact that no one's everyone's trying to deny it and just kind of sweep it under the rug as if it didn't happen that's one of those like i don't know it just doesn't seem yeah like, yeah no that that definitely needs to be pursued um and maybe we can start a movement to try and push floor and be like hey maybe you should look into this they're not gonna it's a hope to hope. Well, we're almost at the end of the half. Actually, I think that was that was our last article. We actually kind of finished early. Early? Yeah. There wasn't enough good we're articles to today. Dance. No, we got we got a good. Let's see. We got a good seven minutes left here. What should we do with the time? Now? I don't know. Like I got a lot of drink left. I, I mean, I, this drink, I know. Let, let, drink. Show them how many drinks you have, actually. Uh, well, this is coffee and like. Does this man two, needs to stay awake? Two to four shots of some Irish cream because he doesn't have whiskey. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, had a, I don't have it in my house. I had at this a point. tart cider. We had the schnapps. I got the Guinness. So, you know. You were thirsty stuff. tonight. Thirsty. Is that what it comes yeah. down to? Yeah. We'll go with that. But in the next half of the show, we are talking about um, do you believe immortality will be possible in the future at some point? I am immortal. I mean, I don't know what we're, we'll go on about it when it comes. Well, yeah. I don't want to get to talking about it now. But yeah, you don't want to ruin the surprise. Well, I guess it's not a surprise. We just told them. But yeah. you don't want to ruin the entertainment, the mm -hmm. the conversation, if you will. 
I can't wait till um, we get more segments for the middle of the show because once we, once Trevor comes down here, I get good video of his uh, his little segment he's gonna add. My friend Dan and Justin who need to do the control center. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Oh my god, that's gonna be so funny. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Do you do you hear any news recently that you'd like to share? Not Anything recently. Like I said, like my my entire week was just really busy, so I didn't get a chance to. So, uh, nothing, nothing on the. Uh, like I, I barely even been. There's actually, I guess I can talk about it now that I saw. Apparently, we're approaching the a thousand possible planets. That like there are a thousand alien planets that we've found in the in the so in the universe from you know the Hubble telescope or whatever. But apparently, we have we are approaching the thousandth one, and I think that's really cool. That was in the science section. I didn't add it to the show because I didn't think it was necessary. But I guess I can talk about it now, and I thought that was cool. I think they also said recently, too, that 2% of Mars is confirmed to have water on it. We finally actually yeah. confirmed. Actually, yeah, no, I saw that one, like, where, um, like, and, and, like, if you dig up enough of the dirt, even, there's ice particles in the dirt, so that if you dig up enough of it, you can, you know, get the water out of there and have drink Well, I mean, you, you, see, you see the, uh, you see the old, the old rivers that might have flowed at one time. The old past. rivers, the, uh, the guess, carry, what is it, the, the northern cap is just, like, it's covered in ice. But, I mean, now they finally actually confirmed, confirmed it, and they've yeah. been saying that there was a recent thing that they had done that had proved that life according to the way we think life exists could not exist on Mars or didn't exist because they said what they did a test where they found something that said hey life could exist but then they redid the test and said no it was just a contamination actually life couldn't exist according to our standards but see I just think that's funny is because like we're basing it on us like who's to say that you know alien life forms yeah well no it's actually really interesting uh, if you want to go on that thing like this was years ago they found um, like this, I think it was like bacteria or something, that uh, I thought it was instead of carbon uh, for like the DNA structure or whatever, it was uh, some some weird like arsenic or no, some, um, some crazy no, shit. No, they, like they said it was a sister to like carbon. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, like it, it wasn't a carbon-based life form. It was a, a different kind of life form. They touch know? on that actually in that move evolution if you've ever seen really? it. No, I've, yeah, it was, a, it was a life form that could exist with... Um, a similar, a similar uh, molecule that would actually produce life in the way that we were created, but it was it was toxic to us. You know what I mean? Like it was yeah. literally like almost the same thing, and it could produce life, but it wasn't like the way we understood it. They didn't breathe yeah. the way. No, but I, I just thought this was really interesting because when when scientists found this out. Um, a bunch of people at NASA were like, well, well, holy shit, if that's possible, that means out of all these different planets, there are certain ones where, you know, life could possibly exist because of these different building blocks of life that, that I've always, I've always, honestly, about. I've always thought that though, when people said, well, the, life can't exist, I'm like, according to our standard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, there's a there's lot not of gonna different be options. Yeah. There's not going to be other things like us. Like, this is our own. I mean, it's possible, but the, the likelihood of them being extremely similar to us is rare. Hey, you know, just, maybe this is another topic that we can have in like a future show. Yeah, it totally could be. I'd love to I talk about that. Cool. Like, open up, you know. We're down to two minutes two, now. Two minutes. Way more. Two minutes. minutes. Two minutes. Two. two. Dos minutos. Dos minutos before we move to the half. And we've got another great what's in Joe somebody's mouth today. Is it you? No, I hope not. I hope he wouldn't want me in his mouth. He's watching this, by the way. I know. Uh, he, I, Joe, please. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> you know, we were friends, but I, I don't want to to go there please please why would you suggest that you made hey. things awkward for everyone thanks not thanks. everyone just there's us. probably someone out there not just you just and maybe Joe <laughs> you're unsure he's going to comment now and get really mad at you saying why, why are you suggesting <laughs> things I don't think he's gonna get mad I think he's gonna be like hmm la no. la la no well I guess I should take that as a compliment I mean I am I'm an attractive person. So. Are you tasty though? That's tasty. Uh, it depends on my diet. Just really. bite your arm. Um, I'd probably be really salty right now because it is pretty hot under these fucking lights. Would you agree? It was a nice warm right, day. I know, like right? That one no, right there honestly, is like right in my eye. Well, that one is the uh, heat lamp, so 
Yeah, that's probably why I am like sweating. I am like, sweating too. Don't even don't even think I'm not. I mean, I'm a small oh, guy yeah. and I'm still fucking. But 20. I'm a big, fat, hairy guy, and all this hair is not helping. I just and, the, and it was curly a, it's hair. A hot, it's it's a, curly hair, so like the curls trap in the heat out of, and everything. It's like out of all the falls we could have had it so far, it's a hot fall. The fall has just started it's and it's been warm. And apparently, this week is supposed to be in the 80s. Although, like the literally the week right before autumn or fall or whatever the fuck you want to call it was really cold. Like it well, got down summer like was 50s. cool. Summer was cool, but I think this autumn is gonna be cool, like kind of hot, because from what I the, the 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 trend I've seen so far, it seems to be warm. Yeah, I don't know. It's still my favorite time of year. You did, like you gotta finish your Guinness before we go on break. I have like eight I don't care. fucking finish your Guinness. Just things, finish your Guinness. Shit. Finish your Guinness. Because I finished oh my, my Guinness. God. You have to finish. You have to go now. Uh, we can't go to the same. The next fucking ever. Uh, yeah, there you go. Come on, come on, buddy. You gonna pat on the oh, back? Are you gonna burp me? Yep. I ain't no fucking baby. There we go. <laughs> you bet me. And you burp. What the fuck? Would you just finish your drink so we can go to the segment? But what if I don't? Does that mean we stay in the segment forever? Yeah, we would. We would. Right. For I would sit here as long as, as humanly possible. We would end up dead. And someone would come and find us. <laughs> we'd be like, just like nothing but bones. Yeah. And there's a bunch of cobwebs. Camera's still running magically. It has the, the video Infinite chat. tape. Like, yeah. That'd be funny. I think it would finish your drink, sir. But in the next half, we have um, tech, uh, immortality in general. Thousands of years from now, Do an you... alien culture will find us here going, what the fuck were these two idiots doing? Oh, this is probably just like that one movie. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, <laughs> AI, artificial intelligence, where they found the kid buried in the fucking robotic kid. Oh, that was a great fucking movie. It was sad. I, I was so sad. I'm glad you actually said that. Did you I, cry? Yes. I cried. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, it man, was did so I bad. I, I it was loved a good it. movie, though. Because he just wanted his mom and his mom. No. It was so bad. Why? Well, I don't want to be sad right now. Finish your beer so we can go on saying that. I'm done talking about sad things. Why? Because sad is it's not It's okay to mourn. The show. Yeah, but not for the show. Why not? Because we did that at the beginning of the show. Yeah, we had to because Shadow died today and I had to, you know, pay homage to him. Fair enough. So, otherwise, I wouldn't really talk about sad things. All right, great. Finish. Yeah, Guinness down the hatch. You're taking all that. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We will be back after the break. Mm, boom. Hello. We're back in the kitchen. Aha! I can never give a unawkward intro. Point is, we're back in the kitchen, and we're here for a user-submitted combo. They say that two things are can always make every item better, and it's either cheese or caramel. This time we're going to go with cheese and put it on something that's sweet, in which case it would usually be caramel that would be put on it. This week on Straight Combos in My Mouth, chocolate chip cookie and nacho cheese. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie is from Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is a great store where you can get quick, simply made sandwiches and their chocolate chip cookies are amazing, unless they're burnt. This cookie does seem a little burnt and I sort of dropped it and it's really crumbly and... Mmm. Mmm. You know what? It's fine. But the cheese we're going to cover it is nacho cheese. Nacho cheese from KFC where I also got this fabulous double down. And now it just seems like an advertisement for fast food places. You don't mind, do you? What we're gonna do is take this chocolate chip cookie and this nacho cheese and lather this on, you know, and uh, be like frosting, only it's cheese. Hey man, uh, put a little too much on the cookie. But as it goes, you're gonna give yourself an experience of food, you gotta get a good helping of it. So make it as messy, as cheesy as possible, you know? This is where caramel would be better, you'd think. And it probably would be. But you know, cheese or caramel. Make everything better, right? We'll just see if it makes this better. Hmm. Cheers. Hmm. 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 The stronger taste in this thus far is the cookie and the chocolate, the bakery. And it's kind of overpowering the uh, cheese, which really the only thing it's doing 
for it thus far. Besides the spice, because it is in there. So it's like you're eating a spicy cookie, and who eats a spicy cookie? Except me. Besides the spice, what it's doing is moistening up the cookie. Sort of akin to the way that you, you dip a cookie in chocolate milk, chocolate milk, in regular milk, any kind of milk, whatever. You dip the cookie in something mo that moistens it, absorbs it, makes it easier to chew. That's what the cheese is doing. That's sort of a positive. Yes, it is. Especially because this cookie is uh, kind of burnt. It's always chewy on the inside, and that's what I'm going to get for. That's where the thick la thickest layer of cheese is as well, so, mmm. Mmm. It feels like a dumbed-down cookie. Once again, I find myself wanting one over the other. And the sweet is there. You want to get at that. But the cheese is getting out of the way. Again, it's one of those acquired taste things, which is why it was submitted to me, I believe. I will make a note. The nacho cheese here is cold right now. And when I got it, I guess it was all steamed up and warm. I can't say what would be better, because cold... It's kind of like, mmm, it's cold in my mouth, and actually, I'm getting it, it's a different texture, and it's very, very uh, obvious that it's different from the cookie. If it was hot, I can't tell if that'd be worse or not. It probably would just be as bad, but the cheese probably would taste better if it was warmed up. I'll give it at that, but it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't make this combo better in of itself. Don't think so. And cold cheese on top of a cookie. Mm, no, no. The spice will eventually overwhelm you, which is why I'm going to wash my mouth out with chocolate milk to remind myself of what I had or could have had if there was no cheese on it. And, you know, just to get that chocolate, get the spice out of my mouth, you know? Mm. So that's my episode today. I'm going to finish off this double down with my chocolate milk. Cheers! Mm. Mm. It's delicious. Welcome back everyone to the second half of the show. Um, this is the part of the show where we're going to talk about, um, is immortality going to be possible at some point in time? That, that is the question we put forth to the viewers and us as, do you believe that it's possible? So, do you? Do you? Well, we'll answer that in a second, but we're going to go into... <laughs> Don't get technical with me, Pond. You did it to me earlier. I know I did. I know I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's because you were saying things that were hilarious, so I had to get technical with you. So, But uh, I have a rum and coke for the uh, second half, and you have a vanilla coke. Double, double rum, grenadine, vanilla coke. Kilo Kai rum, actually. Kilo, kilo Kai. I have a good uh, mix of Red Bull with my... And I finished my coffee and Bailey's. I'm a huge fan of Red Bull. It wasn't really Bailey's, but Irish cream. Bailey's. Not something I usually enjoy is Bailey's, but, you know, I mean, if it's done right, because I think cream stuff gives me an upset stomach when I drink the it. Like, honestly, normally, the only time I ever have that is, like, uh, uh, Christmas time. Okay. I'll have, like, I'll do a shot of it with people. There's a bottle in my house. I'm not sure how it got there, so as long as people drink it, I don't care. I guess I'll just have to drink more coffee and... and hey, whatever. Yeah, I'm not going to drink it. I, I'm a beer man, so mixed drinks are not really my thing, but, you know, I have McCain. Oh, booze. See, Ooh. it just booze, booze in general. <laughs> I'm a fan, no, I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of beer. You know, I've, I've been a beer oh, fan. beer's good. Guinness, I love beer. Guinness, he, uh, Heineken, High Life. I know you hate that, but whatever, but let's uh, move on to the question, because I know the, viewer, the viewers want to discuss this very, very good topic, but, um, I guess uh, with immortality, what it comes down to is, like, what type of immortality? You know what I mean? Like, there are several different ways that we can become immortal if they do get to that point where we could be become, you know, immortal. And it's like, I know where I stand on this subject, and it really depends on, I guess, the definition of what immortality actually is to the specific person. You know what I mean? Well, the, the way I see immortality is a lot like... Uh, I'm a fan of like fantasy stuff, so like Lord mm -hmm. of the Rings, D&D &D and stuff. So immortal in that kind of realm is 
you aren't going to die of old age. Right. Um, kind of thing. You you can die from diseases. You can still die. You know. It's, oh, hey, knife to the heart, or right, you know, right, shit right. like that. So you can still die. It's just you're not going to die well, that, of old age. That begs the question: Then are you technically still or immortal? Um, if like you have a video on the internet that never really dies. Um, because well, they would they would say that some people would argue that like that is a, a form of immortality then because your name well, yes and no but I mean if you want to go with that route there needs to be someone there to view it and recognize it but I'm saying so if there is no I mean, life view old no sentient 16th life. century composers is immortal because we still listen to their music today we still oh, reference them and we music. still talk about them we yeah still talk no about I, I agree that I guess in a sense that is a type of uh, immortality. But again, there needs to be an audience for that. If all life is eradicated, but there are these historical things left behind, well, what use is it? You're not really immortal if there's no one observing it. The question I'm putting forth, though, is not so much like like hypothetical or like not like hypothetical, but I mean like just uh, more or less physical immortality. Like, is it possible to physically become immortal? You know what I mean? And there was an article actually that I discovered through Crack, which has the five ways science could possibly make us immortal someday. Mm -hmm. And the first, the first, number five, is unlocking what your genes can already do. So it's basically like, I wanna say science would be able to alter your genes to extend your life to some point. You know what I mean? Or make them so they never ever die out. They never ever end. They never ever... Almost like essentially creating like a perfect genetic code. Almost. Do you think that is a form of immortal? Um... Do you think it's possible? Possible, yes. Plausible, no. I don't... I personally don't don't think it's possible because it goes... I think there are certain rules to nature that have to be followed in order for life to properly exist and i think there's a certain point at which that that will fall apart that is my personal opinion because life works on a structure and if something were to become immortal in such a way as that it would it wouldn't i feel I, like it's I, I don't physically know. Like, impossible i, I don't clearly... know about that because like look at um and i, I could be wrong but I, I believe sharks I'm not gonna say they're immortal, but uh, have have extremely long lifespans. Right. And uh, as far as science is concerned, they haven't documented any cases of, of just a shark dying of old age. Well, the long lifespan um, is though is different than immortality. I know, I know. But here's the thing: if they haven't found or documented any sharks dying of old age, that could possibly be immortality. They just don't die of old age. They die from other things. Either, um, you know, there's humans who hunt them. So you're saying the potential is there, but they die anyway. Yeah, yeah. I but see, I that that that's that's up in the air. I just, in my opinion, nature doesn't work in that way. I don't see it as being possible. Like there are ways to achieve immortality in quotes, which I will get to throughout this article, and that is the next one on the list which is um, mind uploading. So basically taking your whole mind and uploading it to your a computer. Yeah, your consciousness and uploading it to a computer mainframe, which would allow you to become immortal in the sense of that you're forever preserved thinking in a computer system. See, um, is that I mean, immortality? It really depends because once, once you essentially become code, anyone can alter that. Right, and once that's altered, are you still really yourself? You yeah, know? I don't. That's that. That's why I don't think that is a that's yeah. a true. Form no, of like that one. I don't know that one. That I, yeah, that one. I would kind of disagree with. Um, I mean, there are people that would say that it is, but to me, that's not that's not really a form of immortality that makes sense. Like, it's truly not yourself. And I think the definition of immortality I'd like to go by is one where you like there's allow still a your physical it's, entity. It's still technically you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's technically you. Like, granted, you could... That's like cloning yourself. Is it still you? Is it still the original you that you were? No, no, I, I just I just moved into the next one. Okay. I, I know what the next one is. No, I, I, I agree um, with, with that one. You know, uploading yourself essentially to a computer server or whatever. That... You could kind of be immortal 
but it's not the really power you. Runs it's out. just a comp- yeah, it's just a computer program. It's not power a runs real. Out. Someone just kind of you know factory reset and you're gone. Bye-bye. Right, it's not a like, real form of immortality in my opinion. You know, mm-hmm. I just don't I don't see that as being possible. Like I don't see that as being a, a possible uh, a possible form of immortality. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I I, I can agree with that. I, I don't really particularly like that one um, at all, actually. I think that's kind of like cheating, though. <laughs> right, it, it just seems you like know. it's not its not real. It's not really what I was going it's with. It's the Matrix. Like, right, it's, 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 it's a <laughs> yeah. computer program, a computer representation of yourself is... Like, that's like saying when you have yourself who's currently alive with a computer representation of yourself that's currently living as well, and it just doesn't, yeah. to me... It, it doesn't really... I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not truly immortality. You know what I mean. And the immor- Im- immortality would be allowing your current self to live on. You know what I mean mm-hmm. forever. But uh, the third one on the list is actually nanotechnology, which would allow cellular repair. You know, your yeah. body to go on from it. No, I actually. Uh, I, I think out of any of them, to me, that seems the most plausible. Only because, like, we don't, I guess we don't have the technology currently, but I feel that eventually we could perfect this technology right? Um, in, in order to repair any kind of cell damage or even down to the point where uh, they could repair um, genetic code damage and DNA structure and everything. And, and I'm not saying altering it, but I'm saying, you know, reinforcing and make sure it doesn't deteriorate over time but who's to say that like that will work properly because i feel like if you're changing all the cells in your like body structure or whatever eventually it just seems like you know just with like a i don't know i don't see it it just to me it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense in the long scheme of things if something were to become immortal it just seems like life is about advancing and you're not really advancing if you keep your same self always you know what i mean like who said that you have to stay the same it doesn't work in with the well then is it truly immortality then well yeah because if you're changing you're not really yourself anymore you know what i mean so you're saying that uh if you're adjusting to well you're different from your child self yeah but it's still you it's a programmed thing Okay, well, with this, you're still you. You just changed. Well, what's the limit then? What's the limit? What, what is what is your personal definition of immortality? That's that's really if my you're, question. Like, for, for that, I guess the way I would say it is if your physical entity is um, undying as far as, like, old age, that, to me, would be immortality. You know, it's not to say you can't die. It's just you're not going to die of old age. Right. You know... And, and with stuff like nanotechnology, I believe you get to the point where it can fix, repair, and prevent cancer, stuff like that. Because I it's think going to repair I, my personal cell damage belief, and stuff like that. My personal belief is that we could extend life drastically. I believe that eventually we, we will get to the point where you could successfully extend life 500, a thousand years even. But okay, if that's the case, I why can't you? Extend it to be forever. I just don't think it. It's just in in nature. It doesn't. It, I feel like the the system would fall apart. Then I think that new problems would arise out of that immortality that would then cause these the system to fall apart. Because it's it's all like to, for somebody to live forever is it just seems outside of the natural system of life. Because life is meant to end at some point in time. You know what I mean? Maybe life exists to find some sort of perfection so that it doesn't cease. You can say that, but in the end, everything will end. We could go into then the the, the, the fact that the universe will eventually end at some point in time. Fair enough. So really, immortality, if you look at it that way, might not be possible. But like, I'm not going to go into that because what I'm really talking about (laughs) is just immortality (laughs) for billions and billions of years or whatever. But... To me, I really, I really think that it really steps itself outside of how the formula of nature. It's, it's, it's literally outside of that realm of like what, what, of the, the, just the math problem 
That is Nate. Like, it doesn't seem like it's physically possible. Well, I, I don't, don't know. Think well, here's another like, thing. That's like asking here's another cyber thing. intelligence weapon. I don't know about that. Here's another thing. Like, I recently found an article, and it may have been cracked or somewhere else, and they were looking at, um, I think, six different animals or creatures um, that either have e extremely long lifespans or are like possibly turtles, immortal. Flop goes turtles. Tur turtles were one. I just, uh, another was jellyfish. Yeah, that, that's I heard about them thing. too. They they are tech. They're because immortal? they literally regenerate. They regenerate. I heard about that too. You know, know and everything. Well, um, you know, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, another one um, is the water bear. I, I, like I don't really know what a water pair looks like, but I well, they're they're like little. Uh, I believe my cute. They're actually really little itty water, bitty water yeah, bears, right? Like I'm a, I'm a little baby okay. swimming in the water. Like <laughs> no, but like they're they're itty little bitty creatures, and they can live um, in like sub-zero temperatures all the way up to upwards of like 200 degrees, uh -huh. and they're really interesting because they can actually slow their metabolism down where they can go up to a span of 10 years 10 years without consuming energy like they have no food well, it's source. just like ticks you know, you know ticks live for a long time without any blood blood meal well yeah but they but they still die and like water bears though they can slow forcibly slow their metabolism down that sounds so that really they don't boring. even require your really energy boring, like you just <laughs> hang out for a really long time right <laughs> i don't know Sounds like a pretty shitty life. But do they have a concept of time? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Like but they, maybe they do. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they fucking do. I don't know. I just, I, know. I don't, I understand. I, I think nanotechnology might get there to the point where it could regenerate cells and allow the longer lifespan. But then I guess it goes into the question of how would your mind deal with uh, like understanding and accepting uh, time outside like do you think you your mind would be adaptable enough to understand that you now live longer than you're watching friends and family you know get old and die or like maybe they're doing it the same thing maybe not but it just seems like it's such a long time to be alive would you want to be along or alive that long you know what i mean like it just i don't know uh, I, I don't know for me it, it's a bit different because i love learning and to live forever means I can learn forever, and that would be ultimately fascinating. I enjoy learning things I you know, care about. And well, I, I just love general. learning in general. I love learning the act of learning, having a vast uh, wealth of knowledge, of knowledge. I think yeah, it's really cool, and that's why, like, I don't know. I'm really drawn to the internet because you you can look up just about anything on the fucking internet. You that's know, true. The like uh, this, uh, my fucking phone here. I can look up anything on this phone and, and have instant knowledge like that. Um, but to to live long enough to actually uh, have it in my mind, even though that that brings up the other question of eventually you're gonna start forgetting things because that's how the mind works. Our yeah. mind has has a it's limit. A, There's it's a, a hard drive be, full. And you eventually right? overwrite other data. But see that, that that that's like one of those things I was bringing up before. It's just like. It seems like eventually then if you're clearing out old information and you're erasing that, then yourself is all based in your mind. So if you're erasing memories that make you you, you're becoming a different person. So is it really you anymore at that point? Like Well you could say that even without immortality. I know, but like, that's the point. But I don't think I don't think I think it's still I think I then then you could say immortality itself is a subject that what is the definition of immortality? I guess really yeah. is the question. Well, and that's the, to, and well, that's the thing with anything you want to talk about or debate. You need to define. There are certain the memories that you will you will yeah. I guess there are certain memories that you will keep forever that represent what yourself truly is, and there are certain certain like aspects of yourself that really make up you that you never ever lose. You know what I mean? And I guess that's what I'm talking about when it comes down to it's like. Will you still be yourself if you become immortal? And is it is it possible to truly become immortal? And I personally, from from my opinion of how nature works, is I don't know if it's really truly possible. I don't. Fair enough. I, don't. I think it, I think it can. You do. Maybe but this is just like a fantasy of mine. This is not not necessarily that I would want to. This is gonna. And that's the other. That's the other thing. If it were possible, would people want to? I, yeah, true, absolutely true. But you this know, is gonna be a mild fail, and I need you to be entertaining without me for a minute because I have to get my power cord because my laptop died, and I need to oh. talk about I need to talk about the next uh, next little subjects on the cracked article. 
So I need you to do I, something. I can't be in. No, I need you to do something. What if we both left? No, because that'd be boring. Then the, then they'd hear a bunch of silence, and I need you to keep talking. Just cut that part out. What do you want to talk about while I leave? It I don't be know, anything. because I have to pee again. Well, then you go get the power cord, and I'll talk about something. All right, cool. Where's the power cord? In the other room on the on the computer. I was just chilling by the computer. Just, it's plugged into the outlet. Sweet. All right. Oh, sorry, well, you go fucking pee, and, and I will you be entertaining. I will be entertaining, but seriously, Fuck. I don't believe... That immortality. That's not entertaining. Shut up! No, I'm not gonna be funny. funny. I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna be serious without you, so I can get the viewers to sway oh, to my yeah. side. Yeah, so you can get your side in, and I can exactly. get mine in. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, that's the that's the sure. that's the put. Shut up! Go shut my light up. Go go get that <laughs> cord, dude. But no, seriously, I just to me it doesn't make sense that like immortality itself would be possible. Um, just with the way the way the system works, I, I like no matter what they do, whether it be technological immortality, if you're uploaded to a mainframe, or if you're, uh, you know, if your cells could regenerate, I think there's a certain breaking point that eventually will fail. I think that you'll crash in in, in a sense, if that makes any sense. Sense sense. I, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem to jive with the way nature works and I don't know how I don't know I just don't know how life would work without that you know in my opinion but uh, I guess that's all I gotta say about that really I mean there's more I'm gonna get the article in a second here puns taking a whiz so I'm gonna try and be entertaining and uh, talk about random stuff until he gets back so I'm looking at the door but really he's not there um, I gotta keep talking, otherwise this mic's gonna try and take all the sound in the empty room and make it, like, loud. So, we keep talking. Red Bull's a great drink. I don't know, anybody a fan of Red Bull? Um, I, I know there's a lot of Monster fans out there, a lot of Rockstar fans and other energy drinks, but Red Bull is one of my favorite energy drinks. Out of all the energy drinks that exist, for some reason I, I like bombs, and... Jaeger bombs are great with Red Bull. They're also monster bombs are good too, in my opinion. But uh, Jaeger bombs with Red Bull are uh, classic, as you could say. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The flavor of Red Bull is good, and it keeps me awake. Like if I drink a Rockstar, it makes me shake. So it r works, but almost too well. You know, it's like, do you want, do you want that much energy at once? It just feels like. You know, you get to the point where it's like, uh, you know, and it's like, it works, but I don't really want to have a heart attack right now. You know what I mean? That's not in my to-do list for the day. So if I really need to stay awake, I will definitely have a Rockstar energy drink. And actually, the Rockstar recoveries are really good. Not to put a plug here for them, but the lemonade and the orange are two of my favorite energy drinks that truly really completely work see with red bull it's mild it'll it'll keep me awake but not make me feel like i'm going to have a heart attack are you done boring them to no i'm talking i'm talking give, give me that i should have had that from the beginning i don't know why i, I know this. right uh, there's always some failure i mean all right guys is, you can wake up now the show is still on. shut up the show is still young it's still <laughs> in its infancy so there's not a lot of <laughs> that was highly unprofessional of but me <laughs> Both of us. I assumed we had enough Both time. You know, it was a, it was a it was an unprepared judgment that. Right. Well, see what to be fair, the laptop told me we had ten minutes, and then it just died at ten minutes, and I was like, what the hell? Oops. No, I was like, I was like, are you kidding me? Is it really shutting off? I thought there was enough time to get out all the cracked things, and then like you know go on with it, but. Oh well. I don't know. I was basically boring everyone with energy drinks. I was kind of bringing oh. up the fact that like I have. Do you have any favorite energy drinks that you enjoy? Pimp juice. I don't even know if they still make it. I don't think Pimp they juice. do, actually. It they was like, do. It's few and far It was between. really cool, like, apple kind of flavored uh, energy drink. I had that years and years ago. I was like a fucking little kid, almost. Maybe about middle school time. Still with a beard. <laughs> You're a small little <laughs> Irish man. This reminds me of <laughs> Zach Galchenak. <laughs> Oh, my beard hurt! A young kid who has... <laughs> <laughs> Five-year-old with a beard, like, what the fuck? No, um, probably that. I, I, I enjoy uh, Monster, what is it, Assault? I think the red one. Uh, Assault. See, they say lightly it? carbonated. Light, lightly. Light. Very, very, very lightly carbonated. You can keep, though. But uh, we're back up and running now. 
So we, we, move, we can move on. The show can go on. I, 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 I kind of knew what it was, but it died right as I looked. Oh, yeah, no, I knew that one. Oh, you did? You should have told me then. You should have brought it up. Then I'm sorry. You saw it die, and I knew you were like, oh, no. And I was like, wait a minute. I can save the day. But anyway. Well, I didn't, though. Okay, My bad. Well, moving on. Shame next, on next, next number. Number two is a uh, possible immortality would be cloned body parts. So, like, you could take your mind and put it in a new body, or take the information in your mind and put it in a new body that would allow it to still live on with... Yeah. Like, I, I don't know, for me, like, if you're... It's similar to the... Okay, well, with this... in a computer system. Right? Actually, have you, have you seen the movie The Island? I wanted to. I know all about you the cloning. It. Yeah, I okay. wanted to. The cloning oh, and the trading it's actually, no, it's actually pretty good. The, anyway. I, side story. Side story real quick. I wrote a story in, in, in my 10th or 11th grade English class. Kind of that reference that idea of like... Similar kind of... Similar concept, but I'd never seen the movie. And my teacher thought I was referencing the movie in it and said, well... You know, like she she gave me like a C and said like, well, don't reference the island in in like your story. Or she thought I was stealing it. I'm like, this was really my own idea. I've never even seen that movie, and I felt really bad because she just assumed I stole that. Yeah, no, that's 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 interesting. Um, no, but see, for me, if it's a whole new body, uh, like mine included, that well, that's kind of a different person then because from there you're going to create your own experiences and they're going to create new you know whatever it may be but it's still um, you inside there though they're just saying like you can transplant your, your mind over and over again inside that body but I think there's a that, point at which your mind deteriorates yeah, I guess cells in your well, head anyone I mean that's true of anyone look at look at Alzheimer's you know right um, and, right. and dementia and stuff like that and I actually, think there's a point there's a, there's a, there's a fringe point like Depending on the person, it's, it happens at a certain point where you just give up. You just don't want to live anymore. You know. I don't even think it. it well, the, the way you make it sound is, is that it's like a willing thing. Like they I think want so. it to happen. I think, I think so. Think I think it is. I um, think it is. I, th- I really do. I think it's genetically implanted into you to die. That's my opinion. No, I'm serious. It's genetically implanted into you from birth to die. You are destined to die. I don't know about and the, that. The people, I wouldn't go the that people, far. the people that don't accept that are the ones that are so afraid of death. And I'm not afraid of death. In a way, I am. But I've said this before, and it's not so much afraid of like me, me not existing that's scary. It's the fact that I know that I won't be able to interact with the people that I care about anymore. You know what I mean? Well, to me, that's not scary. Like, I've... I, I have I so many friends that I value and so many relationships and things that are important to me. Well, that, like, that, that's the beauty of life. Enjoy it while it lasts. I know, but it's a scary they thought. Could end, they could end it. Last twenty anymore. minutes from now. Twenty know. seconds from now. Not uh, airplane <laughs> engine <laughs> or fall through. No, or, you no, know, no whatever. seriously. Drinking that energy drink. Yeah, I, 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 who knows? Burst out of your chest. Who knows? Like, who knows, man? I don't know. <laughs> Red Bull. I have an aneurysm and die, and then I'm left to do the show alone, and I don't know. If I'm pretty sure this show is really like, popular. If, if that if happens, just, <laughs> I just died. And then I would just do it by myself. I'd be like, <laughs> I could just pop at you. Like, yeah, dude, it'd be like a marionette. That'd be hilarious. Like, <laughs> if I ever die, Con, please update my Facebook status to is dead. Is Can dead. you do that yeah. for me, please? You're logged in on your computer. So I'm not like, even joking. Yeah, if no, I'll do I it. ever die, please no, seriously. do that. Seriously, I'll do it. Because I've said it. That is my will and testament. Do it. I don't care who gets my stuff. As long as you Fuck update, it, as long as someone this is video updates my status I, to is dead. Whoever like. does that can have all my stuff. <laughs> that is the, that is that is my this is my will on, on YouTube right now. <laughs> so whoever whoever is capable of doing that. If you ever think you're dying, text me so I can make sure I'm around to update that <laughs> status. <laughs> but I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh shit! You know, like 30 years from now. But I guess no. The rule is. If, if, if you get my stuff, the person who owns my truck has to keep it forever. That's the rule. Even if it like just becomes like a worthless piece of yeah, shit, you have to keep like, fixing it. That's the rule. You can have my truck as long as you keep it alive forever. You can make it immoral, well, but it's not uh-huh. your truck because you have to replace all the parts. And that's once all uh-huh. the original parts are replaced. Is it really the same truck? No, but that's it looks, what you're it saying. Looks fuck like my truck, so it's fine enough. No, it's no. Nope. Me, I don't once all of the original parts are gone, you can get rid of it because it's not your truck anymore. But then that goes to beg: what's what makes the truck the truck? The look. 
or the big parts like the transmission and the engine what makes that truck that truck because i've already replaced little parts but is that truly then i guess it's not the same Ooh, it's that's a that's a the question the consequences will never be the, the same. consequences will never be the same and the final the final the final option on the immortality list is cybernetic immortality so the option of basically kind of Kind of similar to putting your brain in like a yeah, computer I was gonna system. Yeah, isn't that kind of like the same thing as what but was number But more or less adding cybernetic body parts, like you know, like maybe your kidneys fail and you add like. To me, that honestly, that is the next logical step of evolution. Absolutely, no, I, I you understand know, that. We as but humans have gone evolved to a point where like we have no outside pressure to evolve any further. There's no anything going on to force us to evolve anymore so the next logical step would, would be um you know in incorporating technology into the being into the person mm -hmm. uh, and, and i find that fascinating and people have already started this like there are people out there who implant like uh electromagnets into their skin so that they can sense certain things because of the electromagnets but eventually like with that. technology things fail randomly well, yeah. And let's say you don't happen to be in your house and not have a failsafe, and you just die because the kidney program that you were using to filter the toxins or whatever, the the fluids in your body, and it just fails and you die. I just think there's always there's one. Well, maybe you point. can incorporate this with the nanotechnology. I just I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like I, I understand your opinion on it and I understand my opinion on it, but I really, according to the constructs that which we live in in our universe and world, how everything works, I do not see immortality how we think everything as works. being, I do not see it as being possible. It is I not do. possible in my opinion. I do. At all. It's going to be many, many years from now. It's how, not going to be just, our lifetime. It, why would you, but I think it'll be possible. Would you want that? Would you want to be immortal? That's the real question. Everyone would say yes, but... No, you know? no, see, here's the thing. Not everyone would say yes, because I think uh, in our current society, like, if this were something that's sprung up right now, imagine how expensive that would be. Well, so you, only wait. the the richest people would be able to do think this. About, think about it, though. Think about it, though. That's like somebody saying, if you had all the money in the world, would you want to be rich? Like, would you want all that money? Most people would say yes, but actually think about that question. Things are better when they're, you know, out of reach. It makes life, like, I guess, you know, more or less bristle with, like, the, the opportunity that you could get that. Like, like, that's what makes life worth living is the option that you have to work for something. You know what I mean? To me, yeah, like, I, I would beg to differ. If I had all the money in the world, why not make the world better for everyone else? But would you? I, you I really would. believe you would. Yeah. No, I would like, want that if I, I ever really, uh, to to be totally truthful. I would if I ever win the lottery, I would probably donate most of it, and I would keep well, just exactly. enough well, that's to cool. make myself satisfied that I can. You didn't say I couldn't do that. I so if I had, yeah, you're right, you're right. So if I had all the money in the world, that's what I would do. I would try and put that money to a good good use. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I will splurge and get you know crazy fancy ass shit. But I, I would take a good chunk of that and put it right back into society to make this world a better place. And if we have people who are mortal who are willing to do stuff like that and put their life work towards making the world a better place, I think that'd be really neat. I don't know. I just like I like I, I, I like. I guess I'm gonna go to the, the final question now, and that is: Is immortality? possible at some point in time and yeah i, I know you said yeah yes. for me eventually not in our lifetime Absolutely. and maybe not two or three lifetimes from now but i sincerely believe it will happen and I here's, believe here's the big but assuming we don't fucking destroy ourselves before then and there's, 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 your, there's your you know pessimism <laughs> cynicism coming into play there not but. cynicism because I'm, I don't believe that will happen. I believe we are intelligent enough to not uh, uh, eradicate ourselves. I think the only way, way we but I'm die not, is if something, something from an outside source fucking destroys us. At the same time, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not me. going to leave this outside the realm of possibility. I think it would be silly yeah, to no. say that. I think we're, we're, you know what I mean? I always like the Babylon kind of idea where we might destroy ourselves, but there will still be people. And we will eventually... 
in you know, maybe another another yeah in another form maybe a better form maybe that would be better for us because we would see our mistakes. Metamorphosis like a butterfly. Kind of no, I mean, I guess the final question, which is is it possible? I would say no because I really think that that the true immortality is outside the realms of possibility. I don't think the mind would be able to understand or truly deal with that. And I think that, you know, stuff would fail if it was technological. Your systems would fail at some point in, in the most inopportune time. I think that your mind would deteriorate. And if, you, if your mind didn't deteriorate, it, you'd become someone else. You wouldn't truly be yourself because yourself is all based. Like you can okay, say, you nature, say, nature, you and say nurture, nature and nurture of like how you grow up. You become someone else based on your influences. And who's to say like... The biology that okay. you're programmed with is set you, for a specific time frame. I do not believe that we are destined to live. You keep on saying that after you I, live to a certain point, you I, become someone else, but you're still the same physical person. Not, but it's not really you, because what you, what makes okay, you is in your mind. Okay, but then technically, according to you, you're not the same person you were 20 minutes ago. No, that's that's stretching it. I would say 10 years, maybe. But I think I am, personally. I think I'm still the same person I was 10 years ago. Some people, it could be different. They might have had an epiphany or a life-changing event. But then, I mean, it, like, it really boils down to what is your definition of definition immortality. Of immortality. That, yeah. But to me, my definition of immortality is, is it's not really possible. And I don't think... I think, it, like, most people wouldn't do it. Or if they did do it, it would actually be negative to people in general and I think that it would self-destruct everything if immortality quotes would exist I think that it would actually be a detriment on society I think that would actually negatively affect the human race but why and I don't because I think that if someone lived forever it would cause this I, I think it would cause a lot more problems I think that there would be too many people then since people procreate as it is and it would just it would just ruin everything and the and what society if, itself well, would self destruct. I what do if, not see it as what if you had the option of immortality how would you or, enforce that? How would you enforce no, that? No, no here go no, okay. Immortality or uh, uh bringing on the next of kin. But how would you enforce that? I mean it should well, trying to do this thing. They're trying to do that in if, China. If you want and they're to still be having immortal, kids and they're killing thing. them. If you want to be immortal, you must be uh uh I don't want to say castrated, but you you aren't allowed to have yeah, children. I aren't allowed to have children. I can Either agree with that. Like chemical. Um, but do you think there are people out there that would agree to that and still stick to it? Yeah. No, I seriously believe there would but be. There people would be people that wouldn't. Think about that. But also at the same time, who's to say like? I think by the time we had this technology, we could. If you want an option, if you, if you want an option, hey, if you want something that would destroy the human race, it would be immortality, and that is my two cents. Right oh, now. thank whoa. you. Whoa. Uh, I don't. I don't. How, okay, but how it is not beneficial? It is not possible. It's that possible. is my it's possible. That is my. It's possible. You could. I would agree with you and say that it is possible, but it would destroy us. But why? What makes would. you think? Why? It would. It's not. You're, you're just saying it would, but believe, why? I do what not personally it? believe it's within the realms would bring of apart. nature. It's not within the realms of how <laughs> nature works. I'm serious. But there are plenty of instances in <laughs> nature where it happens. That's not truly immortality, though. Why? Because it just it just doesn't it with our complex systems I don't see it as working pond I'm telling you that right now I know you disagree with me I know you disagree <laughs> this is a subject I think for the first time we've actually truly disagreed wholeheartedly I, on right but I, I like that no it's good uh, but I mean that's the that's the final you say you say yes it's possible I say no it's possible yeah no it it, it will I want to know happen. everyone else's opinion on this because I really want to know who you leave who comments side. I, I really right. want to know who you side with on this subject because. I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. So this is a competition yeah, now. Yeah, it is. I'm not we saying, like, like I said, I'm not saying it's going to happen anytime soon. I We're probably know. never going to see it. But I'm saying eventually, eventually, it is possible. If it's possible, it'll be possible for a really brief period and then self-destruct on itself. <laughs> That's my... So you do final. agree with me that it is possible. It's just not going to be very long-lasting. Mm. You could say that, yeah. Then you could say, yes, I agree with you. But really, it won't work. You believe it will work within the system that we have life? Like, uh, well, by that time, the system's going to be... It's going to be a whole new game. There's going to be so many differences. It's not going to matter. 
that would be a really interesting future that I don't ever want to see then. I don't want to be immoral to see that. I'm happy with existing currently where I am. I guess it, you know, maybe that maybe that goes with my comfort zone. You know, maybe, maybe. Immortality is just outside of your comfort. It is. That's what I it is. So you don't want it because want you're it. not comfortable with it. I don't it. want to live that long pond. I'm happy with dying. Well, at the same time, you're, you're looking at this in our uh, society currently, you know, where uh, people are expected to die, where life is a finite die. thing. I would rather die. I don't, I don't want to live that long. Okay, well, here's the thing. If you are mortal, you have that choice. I just think that life is so special in the way it is. You know, you get that chance to experience things, take in knowledge, and learn. Grow old. You can do that. Share on your, your information you for a future generation. I think, there's, I think there's just a genuineness to life itself that really you can share your experiences with other people. You can share it to a future generation. You're passing on that. It's just so perfect. I don't know. It's just, it's just like that's why I want to have kids someday. You know, I want to, you know, that maybe that's why we differ. Because ah. I don't want kids. I don't want anything to do with them. Because you think you're kids. perfect as is. No, that's no. Not, not at all. I am probably one of the furthest people. I just, perfect. I just, if, like, you, look I, at, I if you look at the structure of life itself and how it works, immortality doesn't really jive with that. It really doesn't. It just doesn't seem. Maybe that's why life exists to attempt to achieve immortality. And then it blows up on itself, and so the universe collapses in, and then starts all over again. That's how it works. Oh. Or maybe we are already immortal because we are one with the universe. <laughs> that is that is a, that is another subject. <laughs> <laughs> we are part of the universe. Uh, we heavy, are observing this, this the heavy, universe. This is a heavy subject. <laughs> we are the universe observing itself. Subconsciously, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. Tool lyrics. <laughs> no, Bill Hicks quote. Whatever. It was still lyrics from Third Eye. Um, Bill Hicks quote. I just I want to know everyone's opinion on this and what they think. If it's possible, or if it's not possible, because I think this is our most in most in depth topic. We've if you had. agree with me, you're you're cooler than this guy. He says that, but wolves are automatically cooler than foxes. No, they're not. Foxes have less friends than wolves. <laughs> Got so it's a popularity contest? Yeah, that's, that's what this is? That's, that's, what, it? that's what life's about. How cool are you? You live a sad existence, sir, if that's all that matters. Cheers. <laughs> Not cheers. No. no. Please. I'm just going to drink. Okay. Well, we, we're, we're going to end the show on a lighter note because we got a few minutes left here. Um... We've got at least 15 minutes here. Uh, do you, uh, I want to I wanted to talk about random things that have happened to you. And like, I don't have a funny subject or anything or anything cool to show anyone. So I've got stories, though, that story have happened to me time. in my life. Yeah, story time. Story time with uh, Gilroy and Beretta. You go first, because I'm curious, because I know you've heard my stories a thousand times, and I'm sure you've told me some of them, but I tell my shit more than, you know, you tell your shit. You, you keep all that stuff. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing's ever happened to you that's hilarious. That that it, a lot of it is kind of like that. You had to be there, kind of thing. So location jokes and and stuff like that. I mean, um, there are there are two stories, and I would. I mean, I have embarrassing stories that I think are still kind of funny, just because they're really embarrassing. Like I remember way back. Um, it was like Christmas time, and my my grandmother. She lives in Pennsylvania. Um, it was my grandmother and my uncle were visiting from Pennsylvania, uh, and, and like I said, it was around Christmas time. I was maybe like five or six, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we were shopping somewhere, and they needed help carrying something. Um, so they had me like carry, uh, I think it was like maybe like a, a small like little uh, throw rug or carpet or something like really something small that a little kid could kind of like carry around and you know they think they're helpful or some shit. Um, and, and I remember really having to go to the bathroom, but <laughs> yeah, this is going to be great. Um, I like this story already. <laughs> right. So I, I'm running around with like this little carpet or, or whatever the fuck it was, and, and uh, like I was trying to get the attention of my grandmother, and I just started crying. How old were you at the time? Like uh, somewhere between the ages of like four and six. Okay, all right, I want right, to say right. it was probably. A little now I got a visual like, of baby five, pond, full beard, like, long hair, <laughs> full beard, and long hair. All right, got it. <laughs> Everyone, please picture that right now. So <laughs> I'm trying to get my my grandmother's attention. And, uh, you know, because I really had to go to the bathroom. Me picturing that. But, like, I, 
<laughs> Keep going. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't get the words out in time, and I just started crying as I shit myself. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's kind of sad, but, like, I don't know, it's embarrassing, it's whatever. Embarrassing for like, me. Yeah, and, and my grandmother is, like, mortified, like, oh, my God, we have to get you out of here, blah, blah, blah. So, like, my... She realized she has to clean it up. Right, so <laughs> my uncle just, like, picks me up as my grandmother, you know, grabs all this stuff, and, like, they run and pay for it real is quick. Is this a story that happens in, like... Like family time. Uh, Put this in front. Of you. No, he can have the coat. More. We're just, we're just like chocked full of technical difficulties. I know, right? We lost the audio. Um, at least, Pond, at least you finished your story, dude. I guess. I mean, nobody needs. I'll tell my story next time. How about that? Sure. Yeah, we can do that next week, maybe the week after, yeah, whenever we some, have time. Sometime. Some, sometime. Well, no, because uh, next week. Next Count, week, Counter Strike. Next week is the Counter Strike weekend, so we will have the show earlier. Ernick is going to be here. I don't know if you. Saw I me. may or may not. You be may here. or may not be here. Um, if we'll it's all out. three of us, that'll be great. Actually, that'd I assume be, the I show will be, be a pretty awesome. Funny show. But uh, that will be a jackal, a, uh, a fox, and a wolf all talking about random shit. But uh, yeah, he says that. But at least they're better than jackals. I okay, we can agree to that. They're from another part of the world. But thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we appreciate everybody, all the viewers, anybody who, you know, watches the show. I mean, it's it's great that you stick with us. I mean, I appreciate it. He appreciates it. Everyone appreciates it. But I appreciate it. I don't understand it, but I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, right. Um, everybody who watches, thank you. Um, we will be back again um, next week and the week after and the week after that. So at least you know there's another three episodes coming. But thank you for joining us. Uh, we will be back. Uh, Kane and Confabulation. I'm Brenna Darkwolf. And I'm Kilroy. Did I get that right? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. yeah, you are Kilroy. Yeah. Right, okay. right here, Fox. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Good night. Bow! Not not go to my ripple. That shit is product placement. That's going to be all kinds of <laughs> Bitch. I'm like a cat, I just have to fuck with everything. You're part cat because you're I'm not part cat, I'm better than a cat. Come on now. Pretty. What are you drinking my Red Bull for? Dude? To drink your Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> Kimmy, you want a Red? I'll give you a fucking Red Bull if you want a motherfucking Red Bull. You just drank a thousand ounces of coffee and then pissed it all over the toilet. I did not get it. Oh, everywhere! It's yeah. just all over the bathroom. Yeah. It's quadruple stream. <laughs> Quad stream? That's actually never happened to me before. I've had triple, though. Seriously, triple. that's happened. I was amazed because I actually just probably... I think I, re I think when it happened, I had just seen the joke about the triple stream, and it was like... <laughs> oh, I think, God! No, I'm serious. You I didn't, didn't believe actually, it would No, because I've had double all the time. But triple happened, and I was like, oh, oh, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> And it's really hard to stop once you start. And someone's like, no, it's not. It's, it's not, not that hard. Yes, it is.